Hello everyone and welcome to this 12-minute uh, IT security educational tutorial. Uh, in this video we're going to test my uh, security software deployment and uh, more precisely the McAfee HIPS, the McAfee ENS, their communication with the policy orchestrator and um, after that uh, we're going to show all gathered events, so all collected data into our uh, CM solution, which in this case we're going to use uh, ArcSight Enterprise Security Manager for analysis. Now, uh, those uh, analysis, those investigations that you can perform, they can be conducted by Security Operations Center analysts, for example. Now, uh, in this video, I will launch uh, two simulated attacks um, against my Windows server, where I have all my security software deployed, basically. I will perform a port scan just to see what the HIPS will do, uh, so the host uh, intrusion prevention system, and uh, how it will behave and uh, what uh, will be the events uh, that are going to be reported to Arcsight uh, Enterprise Security Manager. The second thing that we're going to see, uh, this will be a typical brute force login uh, attack, brute force login attempt, uh, using again the uh, Kali Linux. Uh, so we're going to use uh, Kali Linux uh, tools uh, and some of the um, tools that uh, we're going to use is um, this, for example, Sparta, but we're going to see this a little bit later. Um, yeah. Um, with that being said, um, yeah, I, th I think it's probably to say that, uh, uh, again, um, this is going to be a short video. We're going to see some typical things, uh, how they work. So, uh, yeah. Now, an ideal way, um, disclaimer, uh, I'm using my own private network where uh, only and solely I'm launching this type of attacks. So those examples are only for testing and educational purposes. Please do not attempt any of these, uh, especially if you're not using your own private home network. Be aware that you can face charges and penalties. Uh, okay, uh, so I'm going to use here my Kali Linux. You can see, uh, so first we open terminal and then we just type, um, as you can see, uh, yeah, net. All right, um, we're scanning basically the network. As you can see, we have a few hosts. Um, all right, so I have here a few IP addresses like uh, 192.168.0.100. Now I know that this is the IP address of my server, but uh, yeah, uh, if you want, you can say, for example, if config to check your own IP address from where you're uh, basically uh, going to launch this uh, attack. Um, but just to show you here, this is my uh, Windows server. So uh, I'm going to type uh, ipconfig and by typing ipconfig, you can see that the IP address of the server is 192.168.0.100. Uh, so Kali Linux comes already with a set of tools that pen testers use to audit IT systems. Here in this video, we're going to see uh, again one of those tools. Um, all right, so I'm going to open Sparta, as I said now. Okay. Of course, uh, now there are tools used to hack networks, like for example, Wi-Fi networks. Uh, probably in another video, we're going to make a run through uh, some of those. But uh, now we're assuming that uh, we're all uh, ready. We have access basically to uh, say, for example, a Wi-Fi network. So you can scan the entire network again, discovering not only locked in hosts and their IP addresses, but also open ports, services, and uh, potentially you can execute a brute force login attack against them. You can launch, uh, you can uh, run exploits and so on. So you can see now uh, Nmap is being uh, executed uh, against the uh, IP address that I've typed. All right, um, okay. You can see some of the uh, here different tabs you can see the open ports so we have uh, port 80 we have 443 um, uh, 445 as well the SMA uh, apparently here the 
this uh, port hasn't been closed. This is uh, a typical port uh, from where uh, it has been discovered this uh, Windows vulnerability, the SMB1. Uh, okay, so here I'm going to show you just very quickly. This is the host intrusion prevention. And as you can see, by attempting to scan my network, the host intrusion prevention has already blocked the host. The IP address was listed under hosts. So uh, 192.168.0.101, which is the IP address of my Kali Linux server, um, has been blocked already. Okay. Um, and basically here I have opened as well my uh, CentOS, my ArcSight Enterprise Security Manager. Uh, this is the Sorry, no, this is the console. Um, and from the console, we can see that we have already one event, uh, which is saying uh, port scan. Uh, again, checking here the host intrusion prevention. I got another event. Again, this event is a port scan. It has been reported, as you can see, by McAfee, the device uh, vendor, the device pro product. This is the host intrusion prevention. You can start now basically uh, exploring, investigating, and analyzing those events by double clicking and um, showing them on the right side of your screen under the inspect edit panel. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do next, uh, after that I've scanned my network uh, successfully, I have discovered, say for example, a few uh, vulnerable ports from where I can initiate some attacks and so on. Uh, now, what I can try as well is to perform a brute force uh, login attempt as well. So, uh, you just go under the second tab where it says uh, brute and you just type the IP address, uh, the desired port, and then you just have to either type manually, say for example, a uh, few username and few passwords that uh, you have on your mind, or if you have already like I don't know, uh, prepared lists uh, with some commonly used uh, uh, passwords and usernames, you can as well upload those and you can say to Sparta, okay, uh, go ahead, use those lists and uh, launch thousands of attempts and um, yeah, tries essentially to uh, identify uh, the password of my uh, Windows Server account. Basically, I'm using the administrator account, uh, and you're gonna see that the system is gonna need uh, like a minute or two, and almost immediately we're going to see that uh, the password that I'm using, of course, is not like a, a typical strong password. It's actually a pretty weak one. Uh, but still, you can see here how many uh, events, how many attempts are executed for a minute. So basically, it looks like uh, it's going to run attempts for 19 more minutes. So 5,000 attempts were already made. And let's wait a little bit more. Okay, the McAfee EPO. In the meantime, what I can do, I can, um, sorry, this is not the EPO, this is the ArcSight Enterprise Security Manager console, but um, I can change a little bit here the filter because it says only device vendor McAfee, and those events are not gonna be reported by McAfee, but those events will be reported by our, um, as you can see on the left side of my screen, the Windows uh, connector that I have deployed. Since I'm attacking right now my operating system, I'm going to change here the logical operator saying device vendor McAfee and device vendor Microsoft. And by refreshing the filter, you can see already that my ArcSight ESM is basically <laughs> bombarded with thousands of events coming from, uh, from Sparta. So Microsoft, you can see device vendor and target usernames. Do you see how many target usernames? Wow, <laughs> this is a lot. How many events? Like very high priority. You can see how many they are in the upper right corner of uh, our screen. So this is an active channel showing all kind of uh, fields, all kind of 
um, uh, data basically that we're interested in and once again those events are coming from the smart connector on the left side that I have deployed okay here just I wanted to fast forward and show you that basically the tool managed to crack my password to guess what is my username here it's shown its administrator and if I open now my Kali Linux and if I go under uh, Sparta just uh, one second so again you can see here uh, right in the not in the middle a little bit on the right where it says target username it says administrator so it guessed already uh, one of the accounts that I have and let me pause this active channel because uh, otherwise it's dynamic and it's going to refresh automatically but um, yeah going under the Kali Linux check out here guys what it says login yeah 192.168.0.100 login administrator and voila this is the password the tool managed basically to identify from the list that I used here uh, that my user administrator is using uh, the password password with a capital P one exclamation mark now as I said earlier this is a weak password this is not like a uh, strong password uh, it's very easy to be guessed but you saw literally the two needed not more than two minutes all right so this is how everything is reported and yeah I hope you've enjoyed the video